Hi and welcome to my new module overview video for the Neutron Sound Argon Accumulator. I've got a video on my page of installing and updating the firmware on the Teensy that runs the Arduino code for the module. If you check that out at youtube.com forward slash divkid video if you're not already on there. I'm going to just go through some patches and look at a few features per patch. There's already some great videos directly from Neutron Sound so check out the link in the video description to watch those as well. So let's get stuck in. I'll start here with a simple drone and look at a few features per patch. In this patch I'm going to go through the waveform selection and crossfading and also the sync with a second VCO in there acting as a sync VCO. Each of these top dials selects the waveform and then the knob underneath moves between the three waveform selections. Three different waveforms selected, I'm going to add some CV to move between the waveforms and crossfade. The modulation is a slow sine wave LFO that's already been modulated so it's not just static movement. Taking out the CV that's providing the waveform crossfading, so this is just a static wave, I'm going to look at the sync now, and without the FM button selected, the index, frequency and top right waveform select knob becomes control for the inbuilt second oscillator for syncing. The index knob is a mix between VCO1 and the sync sound, with the second oscillator synced to the main one. The frequency knob becomes a control of the harmonic content, as this alters the pitch of the second VCO, and as you take the second oscillator to a different tuning, that harmonic content becomes richer between the two waves. The top right knob is now a wave select, which selects the waveform for VCO2, which alters the sync sound again. got a make noise pressure points which I'm going to take the pressure output from and go into the index control to modulate the sync mix. Using a stackable I'm going to mult that to the frequency as well so the same control can move both the mix and the harmonic content. And using these built in attenuators for all the CV it's really easy to fine tune the modulation. Here's the waveforms moving again and I'm going to move the camera now so you can see the pressure points and I'll actually play the patch. I also have notes tuned to each step on the pressure points which is going through a quantizer and then into the argon accumulator's pitch input. Finally, I'll add some delay and some more LFO movement to further the patch. With this patch we'll look at the detune and the gate input which is a hard sync waveform reset. I've got the detune turned on on the buttons under each of the wavetable selections for the low, mid and high waves and this controls all the waveforms not just typical saws and super saw detune style sounds. <laughs> The detune knob provides a really wide range and goes well above an octave and with some fine tuning you can find some chord sounds in there.
we can CV this detune control and use the attenuator to select the detune as well. We've got a prime button here and this is prime number ratios in the detune which cuts down on the range of the detune but also reduces the beat in between the unison voices. Now we've got this going, I'm going to add a gate input and because we've got the detune active we'll get a really nice hard sort of percussive plucky sound as each of these unison voices resets together. Instead of LFO movement now, I'm going to use an envelope so we get modulation on a per note basis. We can start with a detuned wave and have the envelope pull that sound back to a more static sound. Or as these are attenuverters for the CV, we can start with a detuned sound and add further detune as well. In this patch, we're going to look at the FM and create some wobble bass lines. I've just got a sine wave as my bass waveform and then turning up the FM index, this adjusts the depth of the FM modulation. The modulation wave knob selects the waveform that is actually FM in the main oscillator. Add an envelope to the FM index now, which is looping like an LFO. Turning on the fix button, we can fix the FM frequency regardless of the incoming pitch CV or the main tuning knobs on the oscillator. Turning that back off, as we've had before, the FM tracks the pitch of the main oscillator and creates this perfectly locked FM. I'm going to change the main oscillator's wave now and then go back to adding FM. So the index modulation with a CV acts like a VCA between the FM's waveform and the main oscillator and I'll now just play around with the waveforms. So here's a much shorter patch looking at some waveform crossfading again and I'm going to create some sort of fake filter processing style sound as we move between richer and softer waves. <laughs> With this patch now we'll look at creating some percussion in the form of bass drum sounds. Looking at the waveforms first, I'll stick with a sign for the lower voice. And then something slightly richer in the middle. And 
then I'll get the richest waveform on the final higher voice. Each of these waves is affected by the FM, which of the minutes on. Here's what it's like if I turn that off. I do want to use the FM later and the waveform selection changes depending on what modes are in as things like saws and squares though FM well so when you're in FM mode the waveforms actually change to suit what you're doing. I'm going to add an envelope to the waveform crossfade and then I'm also going to add a gate to the waveform to make sure I get a nice solid transient at the start of each note. I'll also mult the envelope to the pitch input for an instant quick and dirty kick sound. To add variation to this, I'm adding some modulation to the decay on the envelope that I'm using for the modulation. Adding the organ accumulators outputs to a low pass gate, I'm going to use that like a VCA for some subtle modulation and more amplitude modulation on the way out. For further sounds we'll now look at the FM. modulation that's coming from my envelopes decay I'm also adding to the FM index which adds even further modulation and character to the sound so it's really easy to create kicks that could also be used for a bass line in a track as well Here I'll look at creating a patch that sounds like you've got several different sound sources with some complex switching going on. So to start with, here's the sound fully open and this is what we're going to create. So I'll now break down this patch and go through everything we've got going on. So I've just got the pitch sequence running now and building the patch back up, I've got a sequence running into the waveform crossfading. And there's also a different sequence that I'm going to add to the detune modulation and a third sequence into the FM index. I'm going to then add some slight modulation to the FM frequency as well. Now we've got some detune and movement, if I had a gate to the input so we get those hard waveform resets, we'll be able to hear that much more apparently with the detune. So I'm also taking the PWM output as well as the standard wavetable output. Here's the PWM sound on its own. And then back to the normal output. Now we've got the majority of this set up, I'm going to adjust the sequencer settings so we can dial in a wider range of sound. The two outputs from the Argon accumulator are going into my filter and I'm using a clock that's running all the sequences modulating the unit which is going to hit an envelope so I can pluck that filter as well. Turning down the main output in the filter, here's the PWM output on its own. It's the crossfading modulation on the wavetables that also affects the PWM on that output. Here I'll mix both outputs back together, still with the filter being plucked. 
So again, it's really easy to create these patches and create something with this module that sounds like a really complex sequence with several sound sources, switching, processing, effects modulation, just all from one module. As always, I hope you've liked this overview video. I've tried to stick to patches with just a couple of features in each time to show you some of the things this module is capable of. It's really powerful, you can update the code yourself, add your own waveforms in with the Dactinzi on board. Check out my channel for a video on updating or installing the firmware. Don't forget to check out the Neutron Sound page for some detailed videos of the features of the module. Feel free to comment and ask any questions and hit like and subscribe for new videos coming every week.